Backstage, Langway, Auckland, Jaguar Ma, Gabriel, Jono, Jack, welcome. Hello. Thank you, thank you. Hi. That was very shouty, wasn't it? That's all right. We should probably meet you. Hi! Yeah, yeah. Hi there! Stop. How are you? Hey, hey. Welcome back to New Zealand! <laughs> Glad to be home. <laughs> it wasn't so long that you were here though, right? You were... Well, yeah, it was a few months ago. We played... Uh, our, our August? Course. Six months ago. Yeah, yeah, six months ago. Yep. Played the King's Arms. Yeah. There, are all, there are all these Mancunian guys there at that show. Oh yeah? Which is really weird. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't know there was like this like... Um, <laughs> Colony of Man Manx living there, and I was like, "Why do you, why do you live in New Zealand?" And they're like, "Well, it's the furthest you can go away from Manchester before you start going <laughs> back." There's a lot of those yeah. going on. <laughs> a lot of chanting. When we play in the, the north of England, it's, it's always chanting. Yeah. Like, How does that go? I love. Well, you know, it's kind of. Well, like, they turn. They, <laughs> <laughs> no, they turn. They actually, after we played one time, they turned uh, the verse from the throw, which is one of our songs, into a soccer chant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it was, I think it was like the highest, the highest possible praise you could get. Yeah. In that part of the world. Yeah. yeah. They were like a like, bunch of. Right, we got to They were like football chant. West Ham supporters at a show we played in London, yeah. and there was just like ten of them in the middle of the crowd. But it would and they would great. do it. They're like that. the worm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just like doing that. That's yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the history, like, you know, how did you guys get together? And um, I'm interested in how the, you came about with the sound as well, like how you come up with the sound of Jaguar Mar. Well, we all played in bands, uh, like respective bands in Sydney. Um, Gab was in a band called Ghostwood, I was in a band called The Valentinos, Jack was in a band called The Wahas. And uh, I guess you could say we are all part of the same Sydney same indie league. scene, yeah. played the same venues, like, supported each other. So you get to know each yeah. Other. And then uh, a, a, a few years ago I started a group called FLARA which was actually designed to kind of just bring all the bands together and get everyone improvising and playing together and um, and it just so happened that um, Gab and I ended up playing a bunch of shows together in that incarnation <laughs> and that worked really well so then we ended up um, kind of going into the studio together and writing a bunch of songs together and I guess that, I mean, it was a side project at the time, so there was no sort of expectations attached to it, but that, that, that those songs that we wrote together, like, the first time we went to the studio, ended up being Jaguar Mar tracks later on. Right. So they, did they, ch how much did they change from that initial? Quite a lot. They were sort of, you know, it's sort of like, you know, the formation of a star, if that makes sense. It's yeah. sort of like, sort of clouds of gas kind of circling and circling and gravity kind of impacts and it gets sort of tighter and tighter and more realised as a concept. And I think the songs have kind of become more real, well, obviously they're sort of fully realised ideas now. As a poet, I like yeah. that analogy, that's a beautiful analogy. I always think of it like that, cause it, yeah. Because it's like got that sense of momentum as well, because as, as things are getting more formulated, there's, the momentum kind of picks up as well, yeah. I guess. Um, so now we're just riding the stars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, in an, I'm in awe right now. You, you just played not so long ago. Um, 1.30 in the afternoon. That was thumping. That was great. That's just what you need at that time of the day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Bit of that. <laughs> yeah, no, it was cool. It was like, we felt, it was weird because when we were doing the, the line check, because the stages are right next to each other, the, the Jezebels were playing and they were doing their amazing sort of epic thing that they do. And we were, I was kind of really apprehensive checking our stuff because it kept on like just interrupting what they're doing. They're like playing this really soft song <laughs> and then it'd just be like, me! Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, fuck. This is really bad. It felt extremely invasive, yeah. but. You know, thankfully people, people were receptive people at that time of day. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, Gabriel, John o Jack, thank you for, for joining us on Pop Machete. Thanks, mate. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy your time in New Zealand. You got a little bit more time or are you you straight out the door? We're we'll leave tomorrow afternoon, so we've got you know it's we're gonna we're gonna have fun really. tonight. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually dangerous, you know, like when you've got the fucking <laughs> you've got a late five AM lobby call, so yeah. 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 So we can probably take advantage of that late flight. <laughs> Without saying too much. Take advantage. Yeah. There we go. Enjoy. Thank you very Thanks, much. Man. Thanks, dude. Thank you.